You are a humble, small farmer living near Exmoor in southwest England, tending your small flock of sheep and your crops when one day you notice that one of your sheep is missing. You go to investigate, searching for your missing sheep, when you spot something off in the distance that looks vaguely like your sheep. As you approach, you notice it's laying on its side, it's back to you, and as you get closer, you notice that it's not moving or breathing. Then you notice the blood. Your sheep had its throat ripped out and is laying there dead at your feet. Your sheep was the victim of the Beast of Exmoor, a cryptid from Exmoor that has not been identified to this day. Let's talk about it. Hi, I'm Jax, and this is Morbidly Macabre, the show where I talk about morbid history, true crime, cryptids, and other spooky topics that might catch my interest. Today, we are talking about a cryptid from across the pond in Exmoor, United Kingdom. And it is a shorter video today. If you enjoyed today's video, please consider hitting that like button. And if you really enjoyed my content, please consider hitting that subscribe button and helping me grow my channel. I also post a new video every Friday. And if you want to see more from me, I stream over on Twitch five to six days a week at Jax Marie Gaming. Now let's get right back into the topic. The Beast of Exmoor, or the Exmoor Beast, is an example of British big cats, which is surprisingly a collection of large cats in the United Kingdom that should not exist in the United Kingdom. Sightings of this creature, the Exmoor Beast, began around the 1970s with the description being that it was a large cat, possibly a panther, maybe a cougar, that roamed the British countryside. Then in 1983, Eric Lay, a farmer in South Moulton, reported that over a hundred sheep from his flock had been brutally killed and their throats ripped out in about two and a half months. While he didn't see the beast with his own eyes, the injuries to his sheep suggested that the large cat was probably involved. One theory as to how a large cat got to the United Kingdom in the first place is because in 1976, the Dangerous Wild Animals Act outlawed members of public from owning large cats like lions, tigers, cheetahs, and leopards unless they had a license from their council. Because of this law and the licensing, a person unknown released their big cat into the Exmoor to allow it to roam free instead of having the animal taken away from them. Now, this is just a theory. There's nothing confirmed. There's no evidence that somebody did that, but it is a possibility. However, the typical lifespan of large felines is between 10 to 17 years, depending on the cat itself, and there are still sightings of this beast to this day, so it's unlikely it's only one large cat. One thing a lot of the sightings have agreed on is that the creature is feline in appearance. It also has black or dark gray fur and a long tail. There have been several sightings and photos of the creature, so it is most likely a real thing and a real cat, but it has never been captured officially. There was a carcass that was discovered in 2009 that was believed to be the Beast of Exmoor. However, it did end up being the body of a deceased white seal. From these photos, it is most likely a large cat, but what if it's something just more supernatural? The British army was called in to corner and capture the Beast of Exmoor. But when they had the beast trapped and surrounded with no possible ways of getting out, the beast was gone, as if by magic. So is this actually a large cat that was released and maybe had a family and had kittens and just continued its bloodline? Or is it a magical time warping cat? That's for you to decide. As with most cryptids, having sightings is great and having photos is wonderful. But until the creature is actually caught and we have a good understanding of what it is, it will remain a cryptid. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you liked today's video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more from me, please consider hitting the subscribe button and helping my channel grow. I do stream over on Twitch five to six days a week at Jax Marie Gaming, and I will see you all next Friday. Thank you for joining me. And as always, stay curious. Goodbye.